Hello dear friends, let's talk about problems of Renault Scenic. The Renault Scenic second generation minivan was launched in 2003 and is an ideal choice for a family car as it is features uh, its interiors. There is enough space in the rear seats and it provides comfort even on longer trips. Since 2004 the Grand Scenic has been on the market which is longer and contains two additional seats. With new model, Renault has not only a spacious interior, but also excellent safety and comfort while driving. The safety equipment contains 8 airbags, ABS and stability control. In the Euro and CAP cross test, the Renault Scenic second generation won the highest rating and thus confirmed its reliability. Of the petrol engines in the Renault Scenic second generation, the following are on offer. 1.4 with 100 horsepower, 1.6 VVT engine with 111 horsepower, 2.0 VVT engine with 136 horsepower, and from 2004 to 2006, a 2.0 T engine with 165 horsepower is also an offer. However, diesel engines are a better choice for this minivan. The most economical diesel engine uh, is 1.5 D DCI engine with 86 horsepower or 106 horsepower and a fuel consumption of about 5 liters per 100 kilometers. A 1.9 diesel engine with 120 horsepower or later with 130 horsepower is also on offer. The strongest diesel engine is 2.0 DCI with 150 horsepower. Renault Scenic second generation was redesigned in 2006 with, when the basic shortcomings that were expressed on the uh, one uh, from the beginning of production were eliminated. Uh, new model Renault Scenic second generation is easiest to recognize by a slightly different front end and all newer models are richer equipped than those before the redesign. The Renault Scenic is a minivan, then you can expect it to be too exciting and wild. Driving stable, precise and curves, suspension offers plenty of safety. Advantages Renault Scenic second generation. Spaciousness, comfort, good diesel engines, increased reliability since 2006, certainty, available with 7 seats. Main Renault Scenic second generation. Diesel engines may have problem with their turbocharger, poor workmanship, electronic problems until 2006, uh, central locking issues, worn rear tires, timing belts, alternator, defective belts, brake faults, uh, oil leaks, battery discharge. So the second generation Renault Scenic has been recalled four uh, times in total. Free recalls related to uh, models produced before 2006 redesign. Renault third recalled Scenic in the fifth month of 2006. A total of 93,289 copies produced from February 2003 to December 2005 were recalled. The problem was identified on the rear seat belts bracket, um, brackets that were not properly secured. All recall, uh, recall, recall specimens were replaced with bolts and the brackets were attached to Renault specifications. The recall is registered under code R2006045. The uh, Scenic was recalled for the second time in the sixth month of uh, 2006. In fact, 57 995 second generation Scenic and Megan specimens were recalled due to the lack of limiters on the brake pedal. Namely, the pedal did not provide enough resistance and if pressed fully it will, uh, would fail and the braking, uh, braking force would be significantly reduced. On recalled specimens the brake actuation uh, mechanism was completely erased. The recall is registered under code R2006078. For the third time, 
5354 second generation Scenic and Megan copies have been recalled. They were recalled at the end of December 2006 and a visit to the service center was necessary because of a damaged mechanism for adjusting the backrest tilt in the front seats. Moreover, some specimens also damaged uh, the entire metal seat supper. The service centers have replaced the mechanism and enabled the movement of the armchairs on the all recalled specimens. The recall is registered under code R 2006 177. Scenic was also last recalled in October 2009. 34,403 specimens manufactured from January 2006 to March 2007 were recalled. The recalled instances did not properly handle the power steering. Uh, the problem was identified on a central computer that had been reprogrammed by the repairers and thus enabled the steering wheel servo motor. With the Renault Scenic second generation, the overall workmanship is of good quality, but it is important that the car does not heat, that the mileage is not restored and that it is well maintained. This is a really uh, fair piece of car, uh, relatively reasonably uh, priced. The statistics of the German TUV, the agency for the supervision of technical correctness, do not support him. Among 106 surveyed um, models, aged 8 and 9 statistics for 2016, the Scenic ranked uh, 106 uh, sixth. This shows the, the reliability below the average vehicle on the German market is mostly due to electronics. 1.9 DCI engine, uh, diesel engines with more than 200,000 kilometers are profitable. Only the engine does not lose oil, starts from the first, runs quietly on the back and does not smoke when adding gas. Uh, before buying, be sure to take it to a diesel specialist for compression measurement. But in older years, be sure to look at all uh, at ball joints, rubber supports and front discs, because they are prone to creating gaps of, uh, or furrows. The condition can also be assessed by the interior, especially the soft seats, which are prone to de deformation. The chassis is robust and durable, but due to the powerful brake servo, drivers uh, who brake often can scratch uh, the discs. The durability of the shoulders and ball joints is guaranteed by robust construction and soft suspension, and it is a bad sign uh, if you notice a gap in these assemblies. The 1.6 Petrol is also a good choice, as it is durable and significantly cheaper, and as a rule, and with fewer uh, kilometers than diesel. Good features and solid, uh, solidity uh, are emphasized by winning 5 stars for safety. The French minivan won uh, them in 2003 and the first in its class. It was a turning point in solidity which is confirmed by the weight of close to 1.4 tons. The sheet metal is very well protected against rust, so even the models in the first batch uh, should have no problem with rusting. Gasoline 1.616V uh, with older is a better OP option because the price is cheaper and maintenance is cheaper. Diesel engine Although 1.5 DCI is one of the most reliable diesel engines today, it initially had problems with the Siemens injection system. Therefore, a much better option is 1.9 DCI, which, which with normal maintenance easily exceeds more than 300,000 km. Only the air flow meter is sensitive. And now about the problems. With the trouble injection system of the first batch of 1.5 DCI turbochargers until 2006, the biggest problem is with the electronic gasoline coils and the electronic ignition key. The model up to 2006 had problems with the electronic petrol engine model. 
The 1.5 DCI turbo diesel came from gasoline 2001 in 1.6, reducing its uh, di diameter from 76 and a half to 75 millimeters. Has a gray cast, iron block, one camshaft and eight valves. Three years after launch, Siemens direct injection with a circular chamber was replaced by Bosch common rail. But with all older uh, diesel engines, especially the 1.5 DCI in scenario second, which is relatively more loaded than the 1.9 DCI, which is why it is more advisable, you should check for mileage and wear rarely anyone sells when uh, them while in good condition so you don't bought a cat in the back the front disc with a diameter of 280 millimeters and the rear of 270 were fair during that time which ensures strong braking and wear resistance therefore deeply grooved discs are on an indication of excessive driving and suggest caution beware replacement discs are cheaper but also worse. The rear semi-rigid suspension is taken over from the Megan and although it has reinforced springs and shock absorbers, the same selenium blocks are subject to wear, which is failed by pounding on the planes. They change in pairs. If driven normally, the rear discs should outlive uh, the car. Although there were problems uh, with the electronics in the beginning, mostly with the electronic smart ignition card, uh, which was obviously um, put into production before it was needed, petrol and diesel engines are very reliable and grateful for maintenance. With regular maintenance there should be no problems, the failures were mostly on the sensors and electronics, the many mechanics are mostly flawless. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you are the owner of this car, then share your experience. It will help others to choose a car. Goodbye.